the article specifically says that these Mexican cartels are using products imported from China and mm. then they're flooding America with the products that they've made from the Chinese fentanyl. So it just kind of plays into the idea that China is still in control and they're going to wreak havoc on us in one way, shape, or form. If it's not one thing, it's another, right? So 1.8 million fake pills containing synthetic opioid could have potentially killed more than 700,000 people. Yeah. That's more than Rona, is it not? Exactly. So even if, if half of those people die of fentanyl, they can just say it's Rona. Or they can just blame it on a police officer. Criminal drug networks flooding the U.S. with fentanyl-laced pills over eight weeks. 700,000 people in eight weeks? No way. That's got to be... Well... It's got to it's be linked to longer than that. The arrests, I think, are just eight weeks, right? The, well, the, the investigation was, was, was over eight weeks, and that's how they found all the... All, they seized all the drugs that could have, I guess, if they were to have hit the street, could have... In theory, oh, okay. no, here's the here's the China approval. part. Yeah, drug networks in Mexico are producing the fake pills on a massive scale using chemicals largely chained from China, distributing them across the U.S. How does it get there? I guess the Ch Mexican DEA isn't that strict when it's run by cartels. And, and online, and, and China probably likes it. Right? Of course, they, I'm sure gonna... that's probably not even illegal for them. It's probably hush hush, but I'm sure it's not cracked down upon in China. There's no exactly. way. Exactly. Especially if it's being exported. I don't believe that. That's just my opinion. Three and quarter of the more than 93,000 plus fatal drug overdoses. So that what they're probably doing, Eric, is that they can tr trace what's in the pill and they link it to the what's uh, the toxicity in a person's dead body. So they can probably trace the same strain of uh, chemicals. That's and it's insane. crazy because I think I think it ends up in multiple different drugs, like obviously m mostly in yeah. heroin, but it also ends up in meth um, and cocaine. It says here, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And and are, are we to pretend? Are we pretending? I guess we are because we're pretending about almost every other aspect of our lives at this point. But that the fact that the border, the southern border, is a wide open has nothing to do with the record amount of fentanyl and drugs that you're seizing i mean are, are we saying that those things aren't linked we're just going to call it racist when somebody hops on the back of a horse and tries to stop now i guess that's different those are haitian migrants but the point remains the same is that the border is effectively wide open and it leads me to believe you know shot maybe we won't get to the alex jones story but shout out to him for i mean like if you think about it and Tucker too, by the way, with the replacement stuff, which are not allowed to talk about. But it leads <laughs> me to believe it leads me to believe that these these political thugs mm -hmm. have some hand in this drug trade. And I've said it about California for a long time. Is because in California they have needle exchanges. You can get clean needles, right? They have safe injection sites. They've decriminalized, um, you know, possession of drugs. All of this stuff that makes it easy for drug users to thrive, not to mention the Narcan. I, I, I want more people to know about Narcan. I bring it back up every couple of months just because it's that intrusive. But mm -hmm. the point is that you can overdose on heroin that they are allowing you to get. And then when you overdose, they're giving you the cure for the overdose that they also profit from. So what I'm saying is I think wholeheartedly that some of the political people in California Actually, not 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 like oh like roundabout way. I'm talking like straight up have their hand in the drug trade. Like like if you look at the wire, like shout out to Michael K. Williams also who they mentioned <laughs> in, this, in this article, but that these people are you know literally profiting off the drug trade, and I think that California system has sort of leaked into the to the the Democrat Party as a whole, and now they want people to be coming over the the border with drugs. Because they're, pro I mean, in a similar fashion as take Andrew Cuomo, um, I'm sorry, before Andrew Cuomo, Elliot Spitzer, who was was caught with prostitutes. And we're not going to, we can't decouple prostitution with human trafficking. These things go hand in hand. 
So when you have people allowing for these drugs to come over at such a rate and the borders wide open, this is not a coincidence. This is not incompetence. This is on purpose, in my opinion.